Conquering the future, mastering, by the time, in future perfect tense. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we will delve into an exciting topic under our section, verb tenses. We will discuss the future perfect tense and specifically focus on the time expression, by the time. This phrase can help us communicate about events that will be completed before some point in the future. So, let's get started. By the time, is a time expression used with future perfect tense to express that an action will be completed before another takes place in the future. It is a conjunction phrase that connects two parts of a sentence. The basic structure of a sentence with, by the time, is, by the time, plus future simple tense, will plus verb, future perfect tense, will have plus past participle, is used. Here is an example, by the time you arrive, I will have finished my homework. In this sentence, the action of finishing homework is completed before the other action, you arrive. We typically use, by the time, to emphasize the difference in timing between two future events. It implies that one event, expressed in the future perfect tense, will occur before another event in the future. Here are some additional examples to help solidify this concept. By the time we get to the airport, our flight will have left. By the time he wakes up, the sun will have set. By the time she finishes her studies, she will have learned six languages. These examples show how the phrase can be used in different contexts to express the completion of one action before another in the future. To further cement your understanding, let's try some practice exercises together. 1. Blank. By the time. You call me. I. Blank. Will have reached. Home. 2. Blank. By the time. I finish this course. I. Blank. Will have improved. My English skills greatly. 3. Blank. By the time. She returns. We, blank, will have left the office. Go ahead and fill in the blanks using the correct form of the verbs given in brackets. Remember, practice makes perfect. That wraps up our lesson on, by the time, in future perfect tense. With regular practice, you'll find it easier to use this expression fluently in your everyday communication. So, keep practicing and keep learning. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you in our next video, where we continue our exciting journey into the world of English grammar. Happy learning!